in Cotabato, survivors are still reeling from the recent tremors that rocked the province this week. They are appealing for help as they continue to fear for their safety. Meanwhile, a barangay chairman was killed by the recent earthquake while he was preparing materials for a medical mission. Ryan Ang tells us more. Parts of Eba Hotel in Kidapawan City, Cotabato collapsed as an earthquake struck again. The local government had already prohibited the hotel to resume business and accept occupants since the magnitude 6.6 earthquake hit Tuesday. The mayor has now ordered its demolition, but they are still coordinating with the owner. Wala ang capacity ang city na mag-demolish and yan pa natin ito i-coordinate with our yung mayari. In Siege of Florta, in Makilala, North Cotabato, Roads sustained big cracks and holes due to the tremor. Houses were also damaged. That is why residents opted to stay in improvised tents by the roadside. They are afraid that their houses might collapse due to aftershocks. Noong nakarang 29 po, tapos ng lindol, lumabas kami kasi yung bahay, bitak-bitak na. Kasi mga kisam eh, poste. Yun, habang kumakain kami ng mga pasado alas 9, sir. Kagigising ko lang eh, umatake ulit. The chairman of Barangay Batasan, Benji Bangot, was also not spared. He was inside their barangay hall preparing the materials for their medical mission when the surroundings started to shake. Bangot was later found dead beneath the rubbles. Hero talaga si Kapitan sa amin, sir. Kasi tinulungan niya muna yung mga tao para makaano dyan, makalipat. Pag uwi niya sa ano, doon siya na ano, kasi nabagsak yung ano namin, yung barangay hall. Even the covered court used for evacuation collapsed, leaving one injured. Tan slides were also reported. Di namin alam kung saan kami pupunta kayon. Malakas masyado ang lino ganon na alus lahat na bahay na ano na sira. Yung isang bata ko na 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 ano na ng kwan bahay namin. Ano ay ano mo sa presidente sir na ipadalhan mo kami ng ano dito sir tulong kasi nahirap pala talaga kami. As residents continue to fear for their safety, they are left with no other option but to appeal for the government to help. For News 5, Ryan Ang, We Are One News.